All right, fight number one. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. It is his, his ring debut. Fighting out of DF Gym Fight Academy under Patrick Doherty, weighing in at 52.7 kilos. Please welcome Luke Nada. And his opponent fighting out of the red corner, fighting out of Double Dose Muay Thai, trained under Benji Wright, with one win and zero defeats, weighing in at 52.3 kilos. Give it up for Eli Ron Weasley McDonald. Hopefully, uh, with these young pups throwing elbows, we might see a little bit of blood and a little bit of mischief coming up. So it's uh, time to change, haven't they, from boys having their first fights with no knees to the head, and now they're throwing elbows straight from the get-go. They are proper badasses. Oh, straight-up gangster. But, you know, you've got to be pretty gangster when Luke Nard is stepping up, having his first fight, trained under Patrick Doherty, who is one of the craziest people I've ever seen step in a ring. Him versus Dwayne Glasgow was an absolute war. Yes, it was a great one. Mean, meanwhile, I'm sort of curious where uh, Harry and Hermione are if we got Ron there. Uh, I think my Hermione just jumped in the ring to carry the round card around. <laughs> Young Rachel Parrish. And who cares about Harry? <laughs> <laughs> so for your kids listening at home, I actually train with Rachel and give her a lot during training. It's uh, part of the family mojo. It's going to be a long night for everyone watching, so you may want to turn the volume down if you don't want to listen to us just dribble all night. <laughs> and boys getting their last little words here. I'm glad they've put Ron Weasley in the uh, red corner so he doesn't just look like a giant matchstick. Well, he, he's he, like actually got gloves and He's camouflaged. Shorts. Yeah. Not going to see the punches coming. <laughs> not, a, not at all. All right, first fight of the night, let him hear you. It's been interesting to see how uh, Luke goes, being his first time in there, see if he keeps a bit... Be calm and composed. Ron looks super calm and is moving really well. I'm going to put it out there. I guarantee, yes, this is Luke's first official fight, but if you're training and sparring with Pat Doherty, it's not your first fight. <laughs> yeah, I've... It's I think you're too far there. He's, he's not committing to those kicks too early. He's just sort of feeling him out. Standing a little bit too sort of side on. That front leg's open and starting to get beat up a little bit. Luke's got a nice, nice ring control, I'm noticing, from a first-time fighter. Maintaining center ring, using the footwork, cutting the ring off from Weasley. And you watch that, that tempo, he stays calm, and then when he comes in and commits, he comes in and it's like fighting a bloody washing machine. He's just throwing shit everywhere. Oh! Holy! The old Senshi jump, see? Ron's looking super. Oh, that body shot was. He's a. Uh... Yeah. Beautiful left to it. Ron's got that. I'm not uh... going to say Ron gets that little showboatiness from training with me but it is a habit that I might have to punch out of him. Well, he definitely doesn't get weighing in from you because he's got abs. <laughs> no, he doesn't get his diet from me. Oh, that's true. <laughs> he seems to have a bit of that sort of ranger mongrel in him. He's, he sort of digs deep and starts throwing down when things get tough. Yeah. He actually is one of them tough young fellas that... He sort of bottles it up for a bit and then just explodes it. It's um, a bit weird, but how beautiful is the composure from young Lukey? Red hot, isn't it? 
He's like, keeping calm. He's not even he's, he's he's not even breathing that hard. He's still well. I remember my first time. I couldn't hear a word. My trainer was saying to me, I was too full of anxiety, and I could hear my heartbeat. <laughs> you get that radio silence, like, shh, shh, shh. <laughs> and you just nod your head to keep the trainer happy, like, yes, yes. Like the TV signals dropped out. <laughs> but both the young fellas are just cool, calm, collected. Like, and it'd be shit ass picking on these young fellas in the schoolyard. Wouldn't it just? Like you've got Ron Weasley, you're telling him you're going to beat him like a red-headed stepchild, and next thing he just opens up on you. It's uh, very Branton Termini about him. He's just this raging little redhead that can throw down. I think Luke's going to have to watch out there. He's carrying his guard very weird. That left hand's down around his chest there, and his right hand's nice and high, but it's, it's that left hand being down so low, it's, it's causing him dramas. I can't actually talk about people with low hands, so I'll just <laughs> I'll leave that one to you. Yeah, that's, that's true. He's, he has changed his guard up, though. Which, need, is it either the elbow pads are too tight on him? And it's cutting off the circulation. Because I know when you train, that does happen. He needs to fix that stance up, though. He's very side on, and that leg is getting just belted. He listens really well. I don't know if you guys at home can hear, but Pat Doherty is screaming at him, using levels, and then he come in, changes his levels. Ron using beautiful angles there. Cutting angles off of the hook. Nice knees. Boy. Yeah, he's got to keep that hand a little bit higher and stuck to his head, I think. But I'll tell you what, that front leg is looking redder than a McDonald family photo. Just swing a little bit wild there, a bit off the mark. Shots again. Oh, Ron was, oh, beautiful knee. Yes, 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 little bit of claret slipping out from underneath the eye there. I think Lukey's had a pimple pop here because it's only a little bit of blood on his face, just under the right eye. But both boys are still in this fight. I mean, could go either way. Ron Weasley's throwing shots a little bit cleaner, but young Lukey's there's sort of pushing forward phenomenal first fight brought to you by the guys at combat analytics there if you haven't uh, checked it out guys get on the old YouTubes and check out combat analytics <laughs> both boys are absolutely loving this like both of them are just Happy breathing, smiles on their faces, nodding, yes, no, coach. I mean, what would what would you be saying to the boys, Reesey? <laughs> Go in, give it your last two minutes. Go in and throw. Probably like, be telling Lukey to start throwing them a bit straighter if it was me. Definitely, but with Ronald, I'd be oh. saying, back yourself, just like that. You're hitting him and it hurts, but he sort of sits back. Tell you what, there's a bit of action. Oh! He's having a go. One thing I'd like to point out to every other fighter that's fighting tonight the two young fellas know they signed a contract to fight and they come to fight. So I hope all these other boys know they're here to fight. Exactly right. There's nothing worse than two people sitting there sort of being cautious and, and worrying about their record. It's like throw it out there and have a go, guys. You're a fighter, so you've already got a head like a busted half chewed mango. All right. Go out and punch. Make it make it your life aspirations to have a record like Reese Lightning. Yeah. Get, <laughs> get get as many stitches in your head as Wayne Parr and I'll be impressed. They're like, that's what I want. I want people that don't have a regard for life. Tell you what, Luke's coming forward. He is game for a boy for his first fight. He tackles balls for fun. He's from far north Queensland. Very He's true. He's got balls. Look. <laughs> 
Ron Weasley's coming oh. in, throwing elbows and landing that overhand right on the chin. Lucas needs to stick that guard a bit tighter. But yet he's still coming back and throwing. I'd love to see a step up knee from Weasley there. Just as Lukey comes in, he gets that bit wild swing. Oh. Oh. He almost collects it that jazz. head kick. The one time Luke has his hand stuck to his head, it catches that kick beautifully. But he is throwing down. This one could be a bit hard for the judges. You've got technical versus aggression. I couldn't pick it. If they went a draw, I'd be happy. Oh, 100%. I think the real winners here are the crowd on this one. That was red hot. 100%. I think Weasley might just get it, but that might be biased because obviously I do train with the little shithead. Yeah, look, I can, um, I can understand it. He was a lot cleaner and more technical, kept his balance and composure, but I'll tell you oh, what. How's the Luke footprint on Lukey's legs? Just threw down and did not take a backward step. Oh, it's absolutely amazing. That was sensational, Lukey. Um, like for your first fight, just walked forward the whole time. I can't wait to see him in 10 fights time. Oh, 100 I hope I'm still Give young enough to remember. Balls, guys. What a fight. <laughs> We're probably going to have too much brain damage and get dementia by then anyway, so we won't remember it. Nah. Once again, guys, this fight was brought to you by our Combat Analytics. Get on YouTube and check it out, and check out their Instagram while you're at it. All right, right. Once again, what a fight, guys. Give them a round of applause. <laughs> After three rounds, we're going to the judges' scorecards for the red corner. Eli, Ron Weasley, McDonald. I mean, either way, you can't be mad at the result there. It was a good fight. Yeah, that was a sensational fight.